So in my last video, I talked about two of the releases for Transformers Legacy United Wave 4. And on top of that, I also talked about some of the stuff with Transformers 1. And over the course of the rest of this week, a whole bunch of other figures got revealed. And it's a lot. And I'm excited about quite a few of them. Others I'm kind of on the fence about myself. I'm sure some people are going to want to say, like, I want to get this one. I want to get this one. And I'll skip this one. I'll skip that one. So let's take a look at them all. And without further ado, let's sit back, relax. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. And let's transform and roll out. Consider supporting the channel on Patreon, becoming a channel member, or purchase some merch. Links are in the description below. Okay, so as I said, a whole bunch of these figures got dropped, uh, like, quite literally as I was uploading the last video, you know, I had talked about two of them, and then, like, two more dropped, and then yesterday, like, the rest of them all came out, and it was, like, a big announcement for all them all. And to be quite honest with you, I'm I'm excited about a lot of it because I'm sure a lot of Transformers fans are like, I want this one or I want that one. And they all look awesome. So let's take a look at a lot of them. We'll start right away with the Infernac Universe Geochron. If you're not familiar with what they've been doing with Transformers Legacy United, they decided to do these like Rock Lord creatures to do something different. They um, have... They transform into rock vehicles and they are based on different rocks and, and stones with throughout the Transformers universe. But this one in particular is based upon a rock uh, creature in the Transformers Headmasters anime. And I know a lot of people are comparing them to the GoBots Rock Lords, which kind of does fit the theming except they're turning into vehicles instead of just like transforming into just plain rocks so i think it is a cool difference they're not autobots or decepticons they are their own you know species of transforming rocks and they look cool for sure um i haven't been collecting them i know a lot of people are really excited about them next one on the list is the energon universe galvatron this is the next core class figure and they are going with the anime colors. So he has the, you know, silver crown instead of the black crown of the original Galvatron's toy colors. And I appreciate that they decided to actually release this because they did the Energon Megatron in core class and now they just recolored it into Galvatron. I like this color scheme better because I always thought the mold should have been Galvatron. In fact, in the Japanese Unicron trilogy, in Micron Legend, he's Megatron. He goes to Power Link's Megatron, like he's like a powered up version. And then in Super Link, which is Energon, he becomes Galvatron. And then he becomes, I think it's like Grand Galvatron, right? So, or General Galvatron. And then he becomes like Master Megatron and Master Galvatron in Galaxy Force. And yes, they, you know, you could say that they don't connect, but all through all three series, even in Japan, are supposed to connect. Either way, looking at the vehicle mode, I think it looks a lot nicer you know, having that like space jet with a tank like riding on its back is kind of neat. I know it's like a one single piece. I do wish it was colored, but in robot mode, it does look very nice. And it's really good to have like a core class Galvatron in your collection anyway. I did talk about my previous video about Slipstream. I'll just briefly mention, yes, she is a redeco with a new head for uh, Windblade. And with this particular figure, it looks more like Windblade than it should. You know, instead of doing a little bit more tooling, I wish they changed out the chest. They, I have seen uh, some, you know, a, a teaser image of, you know, from Non-F Productions, who, who does like a lot of like add-on kits. And they might be doing something where they might change out the wings and the chest plate for uh, Windblade. So it might be really worth it. I did ask my daughter if she you know, you know, likes the, the figure itself. She's like, she didn't, didn't even recognize that it was Slipstream. She's like, what, why is it a purple wind blade? <laughs> and I said, nope, it's Slipstream. And uh, so she didn't really recognize the character, which kind of, it's kind of telling when, you know, if you don't recognize a character, I think it's kind of important. And then of course, looking at her vehicle mode, it really does just look like a purple wind blade. I also talked about Quake uh, the, in my last video, 
briefly just talk about this real quick. I was thinking about retool potential for him. And the first thing that came to mind was Guzzle. If you're not familiar with the SparkBots, another late, uh, G later G1 character was named Guzzle. And since he transforms into a tank, I think it would work really well here, especially considering that tank mode does, you know, it is kind of like an Abram style tank, but it is a weird looking brick tank. It doesn't look like a proper tank. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. Um, either way, I think I, I do like the Quake figure. I want to complete that, the, the Decepticon target masters, the brick is all right. So I know a lot of people are really excited about this. They are doing Transformers Animated Universe, the Motor Master. And yes, I understand that they are using just Motor Master for the character, uh, for the trademark reasons, but his, uh, you know, the name was the Motor Master. And the reason why he was called that was because he was a, it was kind of like part of the whole show with him. He's kind of based upon, you know, like Hulk Hogan or the Macho Man Randy Savage. So that's the reason why for the handlebar uh, mustache. But I'm also glad that they decided to keep that style head, you know, because it does work on this body. And the vehicle mode looks really nice in these colors. That being said, I, I, I'm i very happy for animated fans. They're getting a lot of love for a lot of the Transformers characters out there. And this goes to show you that they, the animated was really appreciated by a lot of fans. And, and I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see the other uh, animated Stunticons, all things considered, since they already did uh, the Motormaster here. I am not a big Unicron Trilogy fan, but I am happy that they are doing the Power Links Megatron, or as he's known in the US, is Armada Galvatron. And this color scheme, I actually like this color scheme in robot mode a lot better. The tank mode is okay, but, you know, I, I do appreciate that they've released him in these colors. And I also think he looks better with Tidal Wave. So um, the tank mode itself is, you know, the it's that creamy color does look a little weird, but I know a lot of fans really like it, you know, for uh, who are Armada fans. So, especially considering, like, this is what he looked like when he fought, you know, Optimus Prime in the final battle in, you know, in Armada. So, now in Legacy Evolution, they did release a Metal Hawk figure, and I did do a retrospective on his character. So, I didn't expect them to do a redeco of Metal Hawk just in toy colors with, like, the darker grays uh, for Legacy United. But that's what they've decided to do. And I do like the darker gray for the jet mode, but I'm happy with what I already have. You know, this is more so for the people who missed out on Metal Hawk the first time around. But then it got me thinking, where can this Metal Hawk retool or recolor potential? Really got me thinking. And then they decided, and I'm going to skip ahead here to the challenge of the GoBots three pack that they are releasing for generation selects which this is based upon that takara wave of recolors that were gobots that came into the transformers universe and took on transformer bodies so that's the reason why they look like what they look like and so you have like treads because takara released this set way back in the day and as you can see you had bug bite and you had treads and you had pathfinder Again, I, I'm not the biggest fan of this entire set. I do like Bug Bite. I think it really works as a villain. And I mean, I do have the Bug Bite figure, but I did not get the two pack for Puffer and uh, Road Ranger. So I'm kind of like on the fence about whether or not to go and get this set myself. You know, all things considered, having a blue Cosmos, I'm sure some fans would like that. And then having like a, a green Warpath as an evil version of him is kind of neat and then i have not yet gotten the gears figure <laughs> i still have to get gears and uh like so so this retool i guess is appreciated for you know anybody who's a gobot fan so having them in these colors and then the guardian symbol is on the flag so i i think that's kind of neat and the reason why i wanted to talk about these gobots in particular first again looking at metal hawk why not release metal hawk maybe with a new head as leader one you know do a challenge of the gobots leader one 
that would be kind of cool, you know, to have like an all gray with a different head, you know, maybe have a little bit of color here and there for, you know, for the sake of, of who the character is. I think that would work, you know, having all the tooling there that, you know, already at your disposal and the jet mode, the jet mode works perfectly fine. So you get a leader one out of this character, you know, another retool potential. So <laughs> I think that would be a kind of neat idea. You know, at least that's my opinion. Now, here we have the Legacy United Leader Class Soundwave. They are re-releasing the Netflix figure. Now, I still believe that Hasbro wants to release a Studio Series 86 Soundwave based upon statements from Evan, but that's his own wish fulfillment kind of thing. They are using the Core Class Soundwave in cassette mode, you know, on the box art which i kind of think is like ah you missed out there you kind of messed up there but that's all right but but the reason why this set is going to be sought after by a lot of fans is because of the cassettes that he comes with so not only is it just a re-release of the netflix sound wave with additional paint apps and making sure that the yellow for the chest and the stripes here match the cassettes that he comes with you've got ravage you've got rumble in a more toy accurate color for the quote unquote frenzy and then you've got buzzsaw which is going to be highly sought after a lot of fans wondered like when are we going to get buzzsaw are we ever going to get buzzsaw are we ever going to get buzzsaw so the netflix sound wave is coming as is and so a lot of fans are happy about that the ravage mold i've never liked this ravage mold i really want to see them come out with a better ravage figure like a really good like accurate ravage because i never liked the head sculpt i never liked the way that the the legs are and what have you but i do appreciate that he's in all black it looks kind of weird to me and i do like the toy colors on rumble so you know i'm sure some fans would want to get you know who missed out on rumble will now be able to get them and i think the the whole reason why everyone's gonna buy this is is for buzzsaw but also because well they want a sound wave. Netflix sound wave was, was going so high in the aftermarket pricing and they had to wait until the, you know, exclusivity deal had left them with it. So the other thing to take note of, and I've seen in the promotional images that you really can't see here is that they did paint the forearm silver and it does have a red stripe, you know, on his arm. So the Netflix figure does not have it that way. So there is a difference between this figure and the netflix version uh, of the figure but i still think it looks great so the joke behind this toy is hey i want missing link optimus prime well now you can get missing link optimus prime at home i've i've heard that joke used a lot and this is a more toy accurate colored one so he's got the yellow eyes he's got the silver chest you know the silver um you know bumper the way that it is without the yellow um on his waist but this is a smaller deluxe class Optimus Prime. Comes with both rifles, a cartoon you know, accurate one and a toy accurate one and his battle axe. And it is a smaller version of Optimus Prime. So he actually only stands like, you know, he doesn't stand that tall next to even G1 Prime or Missing Link Prime. But it is nice for people who just want a simple G1 Prime in their collection at an affordable price that's really what it's about you know and the smokestacks are removable so are the you know of course obviously he has the axe and and what have you and he's just as posable i think as missing link so uh definitely worth it for fans who couldn't get their hands on the missing link figure but for myself i'm probably gonna skip it repaint and retool potential i wouldn't be surprised if we see a nemesis prime out of this guy I wouldn't be surprised if we see a armorless Ultra Magnus out of this guy. Tons of recolor potential. I would definitely get it if it was an Ultra Magnus recolor, for sure. Um, you know, maybe it might be compatible? <laughs> that would be kind of neat to make an Ultra Magnus that's compatible with the Studio Series 86 figure, but that probably wouldn't happen. Now let's talk about the highlight for a lot of people. If you are a fan of the UK comics, 
then you will be very, very happy that they've decided to do this. This is that part of that special capsule of figures where they already had Grimlock and Shockwave and, you know, uh, Straxus. I really want that Straxus figure. But now they are doing Emirate Zaron and the Autobot Flame. If you're not familiar with them in the UK comics, Emirate Zaron was the founder of the Wreckers, which is like an Autobot elite squad. Like it's almost like the Autobot Suicide Squad in a way. Then you had Flame, who was a, an Autobot scientist who went crazy be, and eventually became a villain and even, you know, rose the dead, so to speak. Um, he completely went out of his mind. And it was a big part of the UK comic books. And their vehicle modes are eh. But remember that Emirate Zaron never transformed. So they actually made it so that you had to parts form him in order to actually turn him into vehicle mode. And that's done on purpose because his whole shtick with his character is that he's kind of old. He's almost as old as Alpha Trion is. And he can't transform he doesn't remember how to transform and it could actually be dangerous to his health flame actually transformed into a an actual tank and so here it's because of the molds that they're using so they're using reflector as the mold for emirate zaron and they retooled the chest a little bit and that's the reason why the vehicle mode is the way that it is and then flame is using the war for cybertron megatron which is why it's that hover tank instead of a regular tank. And I do think it works. I know I know for a fact that like Sixo, who is like a big, you know, Emirate Zaron fan, even uses it as his avatar, really loves the character of Emirate Zaron. Um, he actually not only was in the UK books, but he also crossed over into the US books because he eventually kind of like was taken over by Primus. Um, in order to unite the Autobots and Decepticons in their fight against Unicron. Um, so it is a big deal for this particular set. I think it is very, very cool that they have decided to give an honor to, to the, these characters here that you never saw that you'd see, you know, figures for. I want, I, kind, I do want this set, and I want Straxus, you know, quite a bit. I do think that they're very, very nice, cool-looking figures overall i know a lot of people are looking at flame and saying oh wow he looks like hot rod and i'm like i get it and i think that's kind of like to his detriment but you know it's it is a character that they created specifically for the uk books so a lot of exciting figures coming out not everybody needs to get everything and i think that some people are going to be get taking picking and choosing about what what characters they want and i think that's not a bad thing uh all things considered I think that the Optimus Prime is really good for, you know, those who want an affordable one in their collection. It's finally, people can get their hands on Soundwave. I'm sure that figure is going to sell out like crazy. Motormaster is appreciated for animated fans. You know, the Armada and Unicron Trilogy fans are getting a lot of love with the Galvatrons. And even GoBots. You know, a lot of different, you know, variety that they're coming out with these figures. And I think that they should keep to this same theming of let's keep on dabbing into different universes for all of the different transformers throughout generations like we can just see all these different versions of characters come out over and over again and a lot of fans will be happy about it but i want to know what you guys think you, of course leave your thoughts in the comment section down below be sure to thumbs up this video and subscribe check out my other videos as well i have many more transformers videos like this coming soon so stay tuned and as always until next time till all are one